When I grew up, I was on TV. I represented all the Boy Scouts of America on a survival reality show. Ten total divas are paired with hardcore survivalists. We even have the Boy Scouts of America. It all starts now. Thinking and screaming. But it wasn't always this way. I was born in the poorest city in the entire United States of America. I was surrounded by gangs and drugs. When I was in middle school, I was staring down the barrel of a gun in my own back alley. When I was in high school, my father was killed. I'm not supposed to be here right now, y'all. I'm supposed to be in a gang. I'm supposed to be on drugs. I'm supposed to be dead. But that's not the way it happened. I just heard the most, most wonderful, inspiring uh, talk. He was outstanding. I, I, I think everyone should hear him speak. I would try for gold. I'd be all excited. I'm really going to do it this time, man. I'm going to make it. But over time, the passion faded. Things got in the way. And suddenly I found out I hadn't reached my goals again. Has that happened to anybody else here? Raw, real, brought the energy, and it was just really fun. You've got all three main engines of the space shuttle combined firing at full power. All of that force, all that potential. Eight bolts holding this thing back. At T minus zero, explosive charges go off within those bolts and blow them apart so they can no longer hold that thing back from what it was meant to achieve. Are y'all ready with me on this one? He did a great job. His energy was wonderful. The thread of the stories throughout the entire uh, topic was really nice. In the military, we have a saying, there's no such thing as atheists and foxholes. Because when somebody is trying to kill you, you find God, right? <laughs> I will say the same thing for making cold calls, though, because I have never been so afraid as when I'm making a cold call. Oh my gosh, and I've, I've never prayed so much as when I'm making a cold call. Like, please God, please let them be nice. Please don't, don't let them slam me. Please let me get an answering machine, right? And, and why? <laughs> oh, y'all been there? <laughs> Mindset. There are no excuses. Uh, it's invaluable, invaluable. Personally, I've gone up against a goal a number of times and haven't quite gotten there. And that really, that helped me a lot. After today, you'll recognize fear, you'll recognize the excuses, and you won't let those bolts hold you back anymore. Something really spoke to me in that. And I thought, you know, if he can do that, I know I can do it. And ask yourself, are you going to be powerless to it? Or are you going to be powerful? because there's no person or no circumstance that can take that power from you. Are you gonna be the victim or are you gonna be victorious? Are you gonna be conquered? Or are you gonna conquer? Terry Fossum. Terry Fossum. Terry Fossum. Terry Fossum, all day, every day, thank you.